This is my brand new Nightcrawler cinema rig. And in this video, I'm gonna quickly break down this rig and how much it cost. Now, normally I'm not a fan of cinema rigs. I much prefer just a camera and a lens because it's light and mobile and doesn't kill my back or shoulders. Now, not everyone feels this way. My buddy Jackson Hayes shoots weddings with his sting rig and I literally feel tired just looking at it. But he's a beast and he's young. I'm old and busted. My back. Oh, my back! But still, I wanted something that I could stay portable with for handheld, but also be able to add bells and whistles like a follow focus, monitor, mic, and down the line, even external power. Not to mention, it just looks cool when you show up on set with a decked out rig and not just a mirrorless camera. Okay, so the core of my rig is the Panasonic GH5. You know, there's plenty of reasons why I chose this camera, but the most important ones for me are its size and of course the image quality. It also has wonderful in-body image stabilization that is perfect for handheld work. I just love this camera and the Micro Four Thirds system. Like almost all cinema rig builds, the first thing is finding a cage for your camera. And I went with the Nicey Rig cage for the GH5. It was cheaper than the small rig and had all the attachments I would need. And for all intents and purposes, it is just a direct knockoff of small rig. It also came with a top handle, which I knew I wanted. Here I have it mounted on a side handle that we're gonna talk about next. I wanted something I could use one handed, but I wanted it to feel comfortable when I was using the follow focus. So a right side handle made the most sense. Here I went for the big guns and I got the small rig side handle handle with the NATO rail attachment. It slots easily onto the Nicey rig and it kept the whole unit fairly well balanced. If you're having trouble following along, all the links are included in the description for all the parts that I used here. For the follow focus, I went with the Tilta Nucleus Nano. It's meant mostly for gimbal use, but it's inexpensive, beautiful, and it works great for small kit setups like this. But one pain I found with the Nano for the GH5 is that the GH5 does not output power over USB. So I had to add this external battery pack to power the focus motor. It's not the most beautiful thing, but it works. I suppose this future proofed my rig a little bit too, because now I can get a dummy GH5 battery to USB and power off this battery bank as well. For the monitor, I'm using the Feel World 5 inch 4K. Very soon, I'll probably be upgrading this to a Ninja V because I want to do some external recording. But if you're in a budget, I love the Feel World monitors. Lastly, for audio, DAT sent me their D3 Pro, and I have it shotgun mic'd here right onto the Nicey Rig cage. I have a full review of this mic coming shortly, but just know that this mic is absolutely stellar, and it's my current top reco for a shotgun mic, especially for $200. All in all, the total cost of this rig was about $800 Canadian, not including the camera. I honestly have no complaints, and the best part about cinema rigs is you can continuously add or remove attachments based on the project you're working on. So I'm definitely excited to keep experimenting with this rig in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this build. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to hit me up in the comments and you'll hear me next time I feel like making a video. Cheers.